What is up guys, Sunjutsu here, and today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys some Bretonia news. Now we got this from the live stream that Total War was doing on Twitch. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and touch up on a couple of things that I thought were pretty awesome. Uh, mainly, I, I'm more of a mechanics type of guy. I love playing campaigns. So for me, mechanics is where it's at. And we have this new chival chivalry mechanic that we're going to be getting with the Bretonian faction that is, remember guys, a free LC that's coming out at the end of this month. So. I wanted to go ahead and touch up on my thoughts on this. So the shivery mechanic, what how it works is that your characters get chivalry from uh, it's gained through heroic actions, um, uh, victory stuff like that, uh, honorable deeds. So I'm assuming there's, the Bretonians gonna have a lot of little tiny quests and things that pop up asking you uh, would you choose this or would you choose that. A lot of different questions um, that you kind of want to go ahead and, and and try to figure out what the most honorable route is. So what chivalry does uh, essentially one of the first aspects is that once you get a certain amount of it, uh, you get the assistance of the Green Knight, which is a legendary hero that can be called upon on times needed to destroy the people that are opposed to you. So uh, that's what it states, and so that means that you get a new uh, a new assistance unit or a new assistance legendary lord comes in, whoops a lot of ass, and that's probably one of the best things about this that you get something that gets summoned because. Uh, that's kind of one of those new gameplay mechanics that we haven't really seen that I can think of summoning something um, when you haven't. Uh, I guess Wa armies maybe, uh, but this actually goes on the battlefield and uh, and helps you out, which I guess Wa armies do too, and so does the be the bestial rage type of thing. But um, I like that Bretonia is going a different route. I like that they're making everything look completely different, and they're going more of a medieval style route with this, which just begs the question: Why didn't you guys do medieval three or or a medieval three type of game at some point? Do it, do it, do it, Creative Assembly please it's so freaking awesome anyway let's go ahead and jump right into more of this uh on the chivalry now there are five different levels of chivalry so the first thing you're gonna see is when you're zero to 199 chivalry uh basically what it states here is your actions are courageous and show your goodness of intent you get leadership plus two to all your forces next level of chivalry is honorable from 200 to 399 chivalry your actions bring prosperous prosperity to bretonia the outside world looks on enviously and then this is when you can call upon the green knight that i touched on earlier your leadership for armies is plus four and your unit experience is plus one for bretonian knight recruits after that you have knightly 400 to 599 chivalry uh, the action your actions inspire your warriors and strike fear into your enemies craven hearts you may call upon the green knight again which is the same it kind of touches up on the same thing that you have in last last uh, level leadership plus six lord recruit plus one and unit experience pl plus two for bretonia knight recruits after that you have virtuous 600 to 799 chivalry your actions are saintly the kingdom must build must build on such noble foundations you may call upon the green knight again leadership plus eight reduction in vampiric and chaos corruption plus one which is actually very very uh, beneficial and lord recruits uh, plus three uh, lord recruit rank plus three unit experience plus three for bretonian knights and then you have your final thing, your final rank, chivalrous, which is 800 to 1,000 plus chivalry. Your actions honorable, uh, honor your your actions honor Bretonia, its people, and their and their um, way of life. For the lady, you may call upon the Green Knight, leadership plus 10, reduction in vampiric and chaos corruption plus 2, Lord recruit rank plus 5, unit experience plus 4 for Bretonia uh, knight recruits, unit experience gain per turn 100. For all forces that is insane that means you can have maxed out ranked out armies in just a matter of turns if you're gonna be having this uh, be all the way to chivalrous but I'm pretty sure it takes a while for you to even get that close so I mean it's not gonna be like one of those things that's broken and one of the last things that I wanted to go ahead and touch up on here is the peasant economy mechanic and uh, this mechanic in itself essentially means that your armies are tied to this peasant economy seemingly that the less uh, if you there's a cap and if you're right underneath that cap then you'll have essentially a prosperous mechanic you'll have a uh, sort of buffs things like that around uh, you know things that 
influence the growth of your country. But if you say levy a bunch of peasants for war if you have to levy these guys and peasants it seemingly means the uh the ones that are knights uh so if you levy these guys into your armies and send them off to battle then you essentially lose uh or go over that that cap and lose all your and lose some buffs you actually get a, some debuffs and stuff like that and it hurts your economy and the one way to mitigate this that I've seen from the uh, live stream is that you can uh, go ahead and in, uh, kind of apply more points into certain aspects of your technology tree to buff your uh, your country on its own, so you don't they don't rely on the peasant economy as much. And I love this idea. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is good gameplay mechanics. This is mechanics at its finest, essentially, because you're what you're getting is, is you're getting a sense that you are in control of your the, the, your country's own fate and tied to your military. So your economy and your military are tied together. That's something that should have been in Total War for a long, long time. I and mean, where are you getting these huge masses of, of soldiers if you're not taking them out of uh, important jobs that they're doing, being blacksmiths or or, or weaponsmiths or farmers? Um, and that's going to hurt your economy. And that's one of those things that like when they make the next historical Total War, that's something that should definitely be a part of it, uh, a part of a part of uh, either most factions and some maybe some factions get above to this or or all factions because it's one of those things depending on the time period even then though if you're if you if you have a more modern total war and you have say a huge army of soldiers and then you are in this huge war and you just keep you either keep losing soldiers or you you know whatever the case might be or you have to keep making soldiers it should pull out of your um your your infrastructure and your economy because you're pulling people out of their jobs it's almost like you're doing a draft and i guess at that point you'd have to get to a draft to pull people out of their essential uh, economic roles um and then i think the way they do it with the technology tree where you're you're uh, you're in control you can you can apply that your technology to if you're gonna do if you're gonna rely on peasant armies you can basically buff your economy on your own through technology that's something that should be in a historical total war game as well so i'm extremely excited about this uh, this uh, aspect and i cannot wait to play bretonia when it comes out um i'll have more information about the, uh you uh that there and and more information about uh just just what's going on with the units and stuff like that i know they had some some more things that came out but uh just for the sake of this video and not making it too long i'm gonna go ahead and head out right now let me know in the comments section below guys what you guys think of these two mechanics are they awesome do they have are, are they kind of either cheap or do they have some sort of limit that you don't like or some sort of uh, aspect that you don't like let me know in the comments section below guys and as always thank you so much for watching this is going to be sunjetsu signing off take care guys